Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on these Barrick Custom Bag Mitts. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on these custom bear bag mitts. I've had these for, I'd say, about a year now, um, and are definitely my favorite bag mitts I use. In several of my videos, you might see me using these bag mitts, and I know a lot of you have inquired about them, um, but mainly because of the kind of padding that they utilize in here, which I'll get into more detail. Um, this review is going to be unique in the fact that this is not a, a really a production model yet. You could reach out to Rich over at Bear to inquire about these and possibly have your own pair made, but um, he doesn't advertise these and um, Box Up Nation doesn't sell these as well. This again is more of a kind of a one-off deal. Um, so there's no official pricing on these yet, although I wouldn't venture these to be terribly expensive. Probably based on the pricing for his gloves, I'd say these are probably gonna be around $100, maybe maybe less than that. So again, you can reach out to Rich over at Barrick Boxing. As usual, I'll put all the information in the, in the description box so you guys can check that out. Um, but these bag mitts, again, are more of an old school style. They're full uh, genuine leather construction. Again, I, I went with that same oxblood color on the leather that he utilizes here. And it just has the barrack tag on the back of the wrist that's all stitched in. You may see some stitching areas that aren't the best. Again, these were more or less prototypes that he made for me to utilize and just kind of ended up being my favorite bag mitts, even though the construction on these aren't a hundred percent for like a production run so if you do order some from him these they will absolutely be perfect they'll be great but just for the sake of this video i just wanted to kind of show you guys again this is more of a mock-up that he made for me so um, it does have a really nice large grip bar on the palm side with the white leather that's all stitched in you can see the leather is bonded nicely you have an open uh, open ear hole which is for ventilation as well as it helps with the closure of the gloves uh, you have a closed off thumb, so it's not an open thumb. And then you also have uh, an elastic band that keeps the wrist together. Now, bag mitts traditionally have always been meant for excellent fist uh, closure, meaning that you can make an excellent fist. Um, when you're using it on bag work, you're being able to transfer all your power properly, landing on those two front knuckles, and to also develop uh, your hand, your, your knuckle, your wrist, and your forearms, develop the strength in that. Uh, compared to like some of the larger bag gloves that you see that are more thickly padded uh, that have multi-layer foam padding gel padding that are a little bit more shock absorbent the whole premise behind bag mitts is to really be able to transfer that power and to get maximum uh, power out of your punches into whatever you're hitting so uh, these are definitely right up there with that um, inside is what really is cool about these mitts is that uh, rich has actually integrated a velcro piece on the inside liner uh, that you can actually switch out the foam on the inside to the foam of your of your liking. So with this one, we ended up going with a EVA piece on the inside. And the EVA is really dense and it is also backed with some NASA foam. So I'll try to show you guys with the light right there. Let me see if I can pull it out a little bit more so you guys can have an idea of the kind of foam that's used. Let me just slide this out. Give me a second here. It's coming. Okay, I'll slide it out enough right there so you guys can see it. So you can see it has the EVA, uh, which I say is about three quarters of an inch in thickness. And then you also have uh, this foam padding backing. Uh, it's like a NASA padding on the inside. What's so great about this type of padding compared to like horse hair or a thinner like latex is that these gloves man they absorb shock really nicely especially for a bag mitt um, probably the best i've used so far when it comes to this style of bag mitt where you have minimal protection over your knuckles a lot of flexibility obviously these only weigh um, about five and a half ounces so obviously they're lightweight um, but one thing i love about these bag mitts is when you're hitting the bag with these you feel an excellent sensation of getting that 
that nice pop into what you're punching into. So you can see here that I can open and close my hand with no resistance whatsoever. Like you should be able to do with any style of bag mitt. Obviously I have full mobility of my thumb. Really comfortable, the grip bar is in the perfect spot. You have that little opening where the hole is. Obviously if you're looking for something for wrist support, you have issues with your wrist, uh, have an injury, a pre-existing issue with your wrist, then typically bag mitts, unless they have like the Velcro closure, and even then it's probably not gonna be the most robust closure. It's not really meant for that, so do keep that in mind. But uh, if you're looking for something to re where you can really just make an excellent tight fist, then bag mitts are really the way to go. They're hard to beat. And, um, you know, you don't see too many boxers nowadays use them as much, which is something that a lot of old school boxers used to utilize to help develop their power as well as the strength in their hands and their wrists so, and their forearms. So you can see there that you have this excellent punching surface and the kind of foam that's used in here is really dense over the knuckle area. So it does, in my opinion, it does a really great job of protecting your knuckles, um, which is really rare with a bag mitt that's as small as this and as thin as the foam is, but it's kind of deceiving when you look at it. You think that you're gonna be able to feel every single shot go right through to your knuckles. And what I feel with these is that this layer of foam that they use in here is excellent. And you really can just put a lot of power into your shot and feel like it's landing. One drawback I found with these is, and it's something I think you'll eventually kind of get ironed out, is the length between this grip bar and the top of the finger compartment is a little long for my hand. So maybe it was just me getting the wrong sizing. But what, what I feel is my fingertips are right about here rather than inside here. So for me, I would end up changing the dimensions of this finger compartment. Uh, because if I try to push my fingers up further, my thumb gets stuck right here. And the thumb is super comfortable. There's no issues there. It's just a little bit long. So I would probably bring the dimensions of this down maybe like half an inch so that my fingers are, are nestled on the inside of this finger compartment rather than kind of hitting this seam right here or even going inside here uh, to make a fist. So basically when, you, when I'm making a fist, you'll see my fingers kind of bend in this section of the glove rather than inside the finger pocket. Not a huge deal because I still love using these, but just something to kind of get everything perfect uh, with these bag mitts. But, you know, looks aside, obviously these are prototypes like I, I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, these are my favorite bag mitts and, and these, uh, for me, are the best. I think because of the protection, how comfortable they are, obviously the leather they use on this is, is high quality. Um, you know, proportions just need to get sharpened up a little bit, but if you're looking for an excellent bag mitt that's gonna last you a long time, want something that's protective yet gives you great pop and feedback, then these are definitely a great choice. Uh, Cost-wise, I'm not sure where they're gonna be at with these. I would imagine probably in the $100 range just based on how much he sells his uh, traditional boxing gloves for. Um, but again, that's something that you can reach uh, out to Bear for and find out. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box uh, to Barrick's social media accounts as well as to Box Up Nation. I'll see you guys later. Peace.